Hey there, what's going on? Carrie Hyam here, and in this uh, episode, I'm going to be talking about end of year tax tips that can save you on your taxes for next year. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Carrie Hyam, and I help coach and train network marketers, home business entrepreneurs on how to grow their businesses, leveraging social media automation. And I like to give you tips on how you can make a uh, profit more while working less. And one of these big tips that I give at the end of each year is taxes because if you aren't taking advantage of being a home business owner and actually taking advantage of some of the tax write-offs that you can use you're profiting less because you're going to end up paying uncle sam that money instead of getting really cool stuff for your business so I do want to start off by saying that I am not an accountant and any financial advice um, that you are given should be taken to the person that you go to for your taxes so that you can make sure that uh, you are in line with laws and everything else because we believe in doing everything ethically, morally. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you're not breaking the law in anything that you do, especially with taxes, because the last thing you want is to be, you know, uh, go to jail for fraud or anything like that. So, um, if you are live with me, say hello, join in on the conversation. We'll come back and we'll give you a shout out later. Um, but a couple of tips when it comes to the end of the year, because if you're not taking advantage of tax write-offs, like I said, you're gonna end up paying Uncle Sam later anyways. I don't know about you, but I'd rather get a lot of cool stuff for my business and be able to write that off at the end of the year so I don't have to pay as much in taxes than end up just you know, that money leaving my account anyways, because I have to pay it to Uncle Sam. So the first tip that I want to give you is that not all accountants are created equal. And my husband and I actually learned this the hard way. So when we first got started in growing our business, we were going to a certain accountant. Now, this accountant didn't really have I mean, she was a great accountant. Don't get me wrong. But there are a lot of things that we as home business owners people that grow our business online, leveraging social media, doing videos and different things like that. There's a lot of things that we're able to write off for our business that a normal brick and mortar business, it wouldn't make sense for them to write off. And so for several years, Kaysen and Zandrick, I am on a video. Shh. Sorry, I built my business with my kids and they are out of school. And so it is crazy right now, right? So. <clears throat> Um, we were going to an accountant and she was a great accountant, don't get me wrong, but there was a lot of things that we didn't realize that we could actually write off at the end of the year because she didn't think that we were allowed to, right? Because she was really trained. She worked with a lot of corporate business, a lot of uh, brick and mortar businesses. When there was things that we brought up that we wanted to write off, she didn't think that we were allowed to. And she didn't really even check into it for us either. And so because of that, we ended up paying a lot more in taxes several years in a row, we when we uh, found our accountant that we use now, when we found out that there was a lot of these things that we could actually write off that we hadn't been writing off because she didn't uh, tell us that we could write them off. Because of that, she ended up going back and uh, amending a lot of our taxes. And so we ended up getting tax breaks, uh, you know, for several years in a row. So that's my first tip is making sure that you have an accountant that is trained in the home business space so that when and they know like all of the different tax things that you can write off and the advantages that you can take. Xandrix, turn that down, please. <sighs> Heavens, I'm going to go crazy before the end of the year, you guys, before they go back to school. <laughs> OK, the second tip that I want to get <clears throat> or the second tip that I have, I mentioned before, is that there are a lot of things that you can actually write off that most brick and mortars or corporate uh, corporate businesses, it doesn't make sense for them to write off. But because of how we grow our business, we are able to write them off. So an example and something that I didn't know, you know, because I do a lot of Facebook lives, because I am doing because all of my my ads that I do because of, you know, the videos that I do on YouTube and on all these different platforms, I have to look pretty right. Like it's part of my job description is going live looking good on camera. And so I'm actually you're actually able to write off like getting your nails done. Right. Uh, hair appointments, certain things like that. If you're using video because you are your brand right and so you want your brand to look good and in order for your brand to look good you can actually write some of these things off even men if you go and you get your hair cut you can write that stuff off um 
other things that you can write off. So uh, this year, my husband, I'm going to actually uh, turn, uh, whoops, hopefully I'm still live. Oh yeah, I'm still live. Okay. I just hit some and all of a sudden everything disappeared. So uh, my husband actually got us a bunch of stuff this year to set up our decks. So like you can see here, I got a brand new microphone this year because I have to sound good, right? Um, I got a new, uh, I guess, what is this ring light, right? That att attaches directly to my computer. Um, there's been years where we've had to buy new computers because I mean, we work 100% online, um, you know, cell phones, other things that you can write off. You can actually write off um, part of your house payment, right? Because if you actually work from home and you have a home office or whatever that is, you can write off certain things for your home. You can write off, um, you know, there's just, there's so many different things. You can actually pay your kids up to, I believe it's $12,000 um, a year. And you can put that money into a separate account and you can actually write off that you have access to, right? So if you have your kids help based on, you know, whatever they do for you, maybe they're, they help uh, clean your office, maybe they help shred papers, maybe they help, uh, it can be anything, right? You can actually uh, have your right off paying your kids to do certain tasks for you. So there's a lot of different things. And like I said, not all accounts are created equal. So ask your accountant some of these questions of some of the things that you can write off, any product that you buy for your business. So if you are a um, network marketer and maybe you buy product, maybe you are in e-commerce and in e-commerce, you know, you have to buy so much inventory. You can actually write all that stuff off because it is a cost in order to run your business. So make sure that you're taking advantage of being a home business owner, okay? Because being a home business owner has a lot of perks. Um, whether you're profitable in your business or not, maybe this is your first year and you haven't broken even or anything like that, you can always write the stuff that you have off and it's going to give you a huge tax break at the end of the year. So make sure that you're doing that get with your accountant you want to make sure that you get with your accountant before um the 31st right before the new year so that you're able to if you have to go out and you know buy a selfie stick or buy a microphone or buy a new computer or whatever it is so that you can uh take advantage of some of these tax breaks it makes more sense to get a really cool new shiny computer to be able to grow your business online and be able to take a certain percentage of that computer and write it off on your taxes so that you don't have to pay the government that money, right? Because we are all about making a profit. And in order to make a profit, we get to write a lot of this stuff off. So make sure you're doing that. Get with your accountant before the end of the year so that you can do that. Hopefully you found a little bit of value. And I've even if it was just a reminder to get with your accountant, my husband and I usually get uh, with our accountant at the end of or sometime in fourth quarter whether it's october november or december we've done it several different months there's been times where we've had to drop a lot of money there's been times where we've been sitting really good based on what we've already paid um uncle sam you know because we actually pay quarterly taxes with how our business is set up and so you just want to make sure that you're sitting good and there's no surprises uh come tax season next year right so hopefully you found a little bit of value um if you uh, need recommendations for accountants, you can always post uh, here inside this community and ask. And, you know, I'm sure that there's several different people, um, us included, who can give you, ex um, who can actually recommend people that we use. So hope that you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your holiday season and we will see you soon.